Big tech has a plethora of tricks up their sleeves. They love pretending they're transparent with their users. They love playing Simon Says by making users follow orders to get their accounts back. This week, big tech enjoyed playing hide and seek. They hid important information, yes, information that didn't fit their leftist narrative, and made users seek information for themselves. Welcome to week 15 of MRC's newest video series, Sensor Track with TR. This week, we're talking about how big tech censors vital information from users if it doesn't align perfectly with leftist ideology. On November 8, 2021, the American Heart Association Circulation Journal released an abstract. The study observed an increased risk of acute coronary syndrome after receiving the Pfizer or Moderna mRNA vaccines, and the title included the words, a warning. While this abstract should have been reported everywhere as it's a warning to public health, many people likely didn't even see it. On December 2nd, Twitter placed an unsafe link warning on the abstract. In order to view the content, users had to click through the warning. They had to seek the hidden info. Now, the warning appears to be gone in most places, but the abstract is still suppressed. It's interesting that an abstract released by the American Heart Association was censored for leading to real-world harm. Twitter got a little mixed up on this one. Don't you think that the AHA has a little bit more of an understanding on health than Twitter's fact-checking team? Yet, Twitter is acting as the healthcare professional. This raises the question, is Twitter actually worried about protecting our health and the truth? Or are they just worried about protecting the left's narrative and overwhelming push for everyone to get the vaccine no matter what? Unfortunately, this isn't the first time Twitter pulled a move like this. You know, censoring things that are actually important for people to know about their health. Tony Heller is a geologist and engineer who's been skeptical of the left's narrative on COVID-19. At the end of November, he quoted a study from the UK government. His tweet read, In individuals aged greater than 30, the rate of a positive COVID-19 test is higher in vaccinated individuals compared to unvaccinated. Look, you can believe the study or not, that's your choice. But what the left wants you to believe is that if you're unvaccinated, you will die. Heller replied to the UK study with this proposition. If government were doing this for public health, they would lock down vaccinated instead of unvaccinated. Obviously, Twitter didn't like that. Heller's punishment? One, a screenshot of his tweet showed that it was labeled misleading. Two, he said users couldn't comment or share. And three, Heller said he was locked out of his account for seven days. My dudes, I must have missed the chapter when Twitter became a doctor. 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 And doctor. Apparently, it knows better than the American Heart Association or a UK scientific study. Censoring objectively false information is one thing, but censoring information that people should be able to read for the benefit of their health is another. We should have access to all information and decide for ourselves what we want to believe or not. Twitter should not make that decision for us. If you or someone you know has been censored, report those cases through our website, censortrack.org, and use hashtag free speech on social media sites to help us report, expose, and neutralize big tech's unacceptable bias. Check out last week's episode and sign up for our newsletter to never miss a segment and to help defend our freedom. Don't forget to share, comment, and give this video a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people and in turn, help defend our freedom of speech online. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell down below so that YouTube can let you know when a new episode comes out. That way, you can watch it while it's still up since every time we post, we risk getting censored. Follow us on social media too for a behind the scenes look at the MRC as a whole. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Sensor Track with TR.